so this will be just a little bit of a technical rundown of what they are at a high level so that you, if you ever hear them, you know what they are. It stands for conflict-free replicated data types, which is a mouthful. So the first thing you have to understand to begin to get into this is that there are two ways to view how you build a database. You can call it high consistency or eventually consistent. And this has to do with what you call the consensus of the system. So we have a bunch of computers that are going to work together to provide one logical database. How do they work together? In a highly consistent system, you come up with a way to say there is a canonical piece of the state. Usually the way you do that is by saying this computer is the leader. And it is in charge of saying what the state is at any time. So when you have a lot of uh, databases uh, in a cluster working together, often what you will do is put one of them in the leader role and have everybody else following that leader. And they will take the transactions which occurred, they will record them, and then if that leader goes down, they will automatically recover and they'll elect a new leader. Okay? Now that's the highly consistent way of doing things and what it means is that you still have to have one computer that's sort of a bottleneck of the computation. Okay? So if you're in a situation where that's not going to work out for you, you need to consider an alternative model called eventually consistent. And this is the idea that a lot of different computers in the network can operate independently of one another. But later on, they can then reconcile the changes that each of them have affected to the data set and have them all come to the exact same state. Does that sort of make sense? So we've got a good, that's our foundational idea here. So on an eventually consistent system, what you have to be able to do is say, if I make changes to computer one and somebody else makes changes to computer two, they need to be able to talk to each other and come to the final result that is exactly the same for both of them. And this is a property that you call convergence. You need the data sets to come out to the exact same end result. Now the challenge to this is you have no concept of what happened, well you have a limited concept of the order of events. A simple example of this is if I say the value of foo is bar and you say the value of foo is baz, since we're all in the room together, you said baz second, we all know baz is now the current state. She made her right after I did. But if we were in separate rooms, and half of you heard Baz and half of you heard uh, Bar, and we all came together, well, what are we going to agree on? The agreement that we come to, as long as we all come to the same agreement, is convergence. And it's really important that no matter which one we choose, we all either choose Baz or we choose Bar. Okay? The conflict-free replicated data types are a way of constructing your data model in such a way that you will always have convergence. And there are sort of different tricks that you can use to make this occur. Let me think of a good example. So a classic sort of CRDT would be a set. And the simplest kind of set would be to say that you are only ever going to add to the set. And the each value is, um, if it is equal in like a, if you did an equal equal and it's true, then it is added. So let's say we're going to have a set of integers. And I say 1 and 2 are a part of the set. And you say 2 and 3 are a part of the set. And we do these in separate rooms. And then we come together. The final set would be 1, 2, and 3. Because it's very easy to merge these together. One, was, 1 and 2 was in your set. 2 and 3 was in my set. When we merge them together, 2 is duplicated. But we just say, great, that's a part of the set. You added 1 to my version of it. And I added 3 to your version. They merge together automatically. An example of where it's not so straightforward is in like a map or a register. In my foo example, we have two minutes left. Two minutes left. In my foo example, you don't actually have such a clean merge operation. She said baz, I said bar. How do you make them merge together? Now CouchDB deals with this all the time. And CouchDB was created before CRDTs was really a concept that was being used a lot. But there's actually a CRDT that is represented there called the multi-value register, where you say, okay, if there is a conflict like this, we're just going to hold both values. Bar and baz are now valid values for, for foo. And we keep them in there until the application comes along and says, all right, well, let's make it baz. And that's what the conflict re uh, resolution is. There are a number of different data types in the CRDT spectrum, and there are a lot more being built. There are counters that exist in this system. There are lists uh, CRDTs. There are set CRDTs. And then there are some that simply 
kind of don't have a nice elegant merging function. And a register would be an example of that. And you basically either say, I'm going to hold both values in the case of a register, or I'm just going to choose one automatically using a predefined rule. So maybe we'll do it by an alphabetical comparison and say, if I sort to a earlier, um, how would I put this? If I did just like a string compare, a local string compare, bar comes out before bad, so we're just always going to choose bar. As, as long as the rule is consistent and the systems converge, then the, we don't get a split brain scenario and a CRDT is satisfied. So the final thing I would say about this is there is a language being produced right now which built CRDTs in as a fundamental data structure in the system. This is an, sort of an interesting idea that was started by a Berkeley working group um, and is now actually being put into Chris Granger's EVE project, which is the sort of graphical IDE. So I'd say keep an eye out for that to see what that's like. So there's my rundown of CRDTs. Is there any production databases that have that built in? Basho's um, database, uh, React. React. Yeah. Has it built in? And Re what? React. R-I-A-K. Oh, OK, React. OK, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also, gosh, DB? Yep. Couch to be! Woo! <laughs>